Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In my previous video on Conga platform, we have seen catalog crafting using Conga platform. Today we are going to see product configuration, how different types of product can be configured in Conga platform. So here is the agenda. First of all, we are going to see what does product mean. Then we are going to see classification of the product, how Conga has classified the product. Then we'll see how to configure them. And at the end, we are going to see the live configuration. What does product mean? A product are the item that can be added to a code. We all know this. So any product or service that can be sold independently or as an add-on to another product is considered a product. Okay. Now a product can be offered either as a one-time sale or one-time service or as a recurring service. So this is what product means. Classification of the product. So Conga has classified products into three sections. First, standalone. So a product that can be sold independently is referred to as a standalone product. Option, a product then that cannot be sold on its own is known as option product. Typically, option products are created to be sold alongside specific bundles. Now, what does bundle mean? So a bundle product or a product that is formed by grouping the together a set of option product is known as bundle product. These option products are usually organized into option groups. Okay. Now product structure. So standalone you can see is laptop, warranty, keyboard and mouse. You can sell this product on its own independently. For option I have taken an example of light pen which must be sold with laptop. So let's say warranty, mouse, keyboard and light pen you want to sell this together with bundle only or with laptop only then you will create a bundle in which laptop will be the bundle and rest of the all four products will be an option to that particular bundle okay so that is how bundle can be configured or that is how bundle will look like now let's review the configuration so when you log into conga platform you will get landed on this home page which is a launcher for different different apps okay so you can launch document management apps cx studio contract apps dev console admin console and conga cpq app from here uh, this is the cx studio conga has built their own framework to design the pages uh, that you use for configuration is being used or is being created with the cx studio so now product configuration, uh, we can go to this Conga CPQ app. Over here on the home page of that app, uh, you can see the proposals. Uh, you can create proposal from here, right, and configure it. We'll go to CPQ admin and we'll create few products, okay? So I'll click new, I'll click create new product and I'll first create standalone product. So let's say I want to create warranty. So warranty, I added the product code as well. Family, it is a hardware category. Uh, product type, as we have talked about, uh, or as we have also seen in previous uh, video. So using this product type, we have defined the refine your search. You can assess, associate it. Uh, configurable type product option, uh, like standalone bundle or option. Uh, effective date and expiration date. So let's say if you set some effective date. so. On that date onward, the product will be visible in catalog, although you have activated it or you have associated the price list. But before this date, it won't be visible. And expiration date, after the, this date, the product will get expired. We have two different checkbox over here, like configuration, configurable and has attribute, which can be used. If your product is having attributes, then you'll have to check this checkbox so that the system knows it has attribute and it will show the attribute page. And uh, configurable checkbox if you want your product to be configured right and you want to land on the configuration page when you add this product you have to check this checkbox now i'll save this and uh, i'll edit this and i'll upload the photograph okay so i'll just click on this it was warranty so we'll add the photograph of warranty and let's activate this so i'll just save it and post activation we'll have to publish it but before that let me associate the price list item so I'll go over here and I'll search for Conga price list. I select the price list and let's I'll provide the price as 
and save it. So it's easy, simple. You have created your product, associated press list, and now we are going to publish this. So product is being published. Now let's go. And before that, before we go, what I forgot to do is I forgot to associate it with category. So I'll associate with all product. Okay. Now what I have to do is I have to create another product. So I'm quickly creating the new standalone product for keyboard. And I'll just make it clone so that I can create multiple product. Okay, so I'll just create new. It's again new standalone product, and I'm gonna create mouse. All of them belongs to hardware category. Over here, I'll select hardware. Uh, I'll save it. I'll again save this as well. Now what I'll do is I'll just mark it activated and upload the photograph of mouse save it same way i'll edit this i'll add the keyboard photograph and I'll mark it activated now i have to associate the press list item so i'll just see and search for conga press list i've added again over here as well i have to select conga press list and simple now I can provide price, let's say $15 over here, and I'll save it. Similarly, I have to provide price over here as well. So $15, and I'll save it. Now I've created three products. So now I have to create the option as well. Right? So I'll just create new, I'll mark it as option, and I'll name it as light pen. So I'll give the code as well. It's an hardware, it's a type option. I'll save it and I'll again put the photograph by editing this. That's the light pen. Here it is. I'll mark it as active. I'll have to set up the price over here as well. So I'll select Conga price list and let's say let me add it as $20. I'll save it. So what we did was we have created four products as of now. All of them are created. Let's see warranty. It is not associated with any. Uh, it, it's being associated. My bad. Now I have to associate rest of the product. Right? I'll configure this and select all product. I'll go to keyboard again. I'll configure it and select all product. And right now, I am not adding light pad to categories, light pen to categories. So I don't, I don't want to show that. I, I want to use it as a option to a particular bundle. So I'm not associating it to category as of now. But later on, if you still associate the category uh, with uh, light pen, and if you want uh, to disable the ad product, we can do that. But we will cover that with a separate video. Now. What I'm yet to do is I'm yet to create new product, which is a bundle. So I'll just click on bundle product and click continue and I'll mark it as laptop bundle. I'll provide the code as LPTP. I'll select the hardware you cons consider uh, you are creating a bundle product. The configuration type itself will become bundle. It has an option. So we'll we'll going to associate options with it as that's why we check this checkbox has attribute as we talked about if there are any attributes we can check this checkbox configurable if you want or if you want to force the user to configure this we have to check this checkbox that will check it later i want to show you something else as well so i'll associate the price list over here or create the price list item let's say i'll mark it as 1500 usds price now the thing is i have to associate the options to it so what i'll do is i'll click on setup and i'll add the option group over here if you already created an option group it will be visible over here if you haven't created but you want to create a new option group you can click this button so it's an easy navigation as well which conga platform uh, provides and it is a very good feature right uh, to easily navigate through okay so I am, let's say, providing laptop option group as a name. 
I'll just copy it over here. Uh, the type is shared. That means like if this is marked as shared, then you can associate this option group with another product, another bundle product as well. I'll mark it expanded by default. So whenever we land on the configuration page, those will be automatically expanded. I'll just save it. And now I have to add the product. So I'll search for let's say mouse. Let's see why or oh, let me add keyboard. I can see keyboard. Let me see warranty. I've added the warranty and let's see mouse. Okay, so I can see mouse as well. So I've selected all three of them and I have added them over here. So you can see all of them being added over here. Now the only thing that I forgot to add is light pen. So let me just search for light pen and let me add it. So we can see all those products are being associated over here. Now what I'll do is I'll go to bundle and I'll search for uh, laptop bundle option or laptop option over here so I can see uh, two options over here but this one that I recently created so I'll select this and I'll click add so the bundle structure is being created now what I'll do is I'll go to Salesforce now uh, the very first thing that will come to your mind is let's say we have configured everything in the platform so when we go to the catalog page from Salesforce or any particular UI what would be the key to check so uh, the key to check is price list. So the price list name is being passed to Conga platform in the API call and it will return all the categories products associated with that to uh, the calling platform as API result right? and that can be used later. So I'll click on this configure product page and now actually Salesforce is calling the Conga platform API right. So we are calling Conga platform API from Salesforce and passing the conga price list and it will provide all the price all the categories associated with this all the categories associated with that particular price list and we are seeing it over here so consider we have added all those products that we recently created with all products so if i go and click on all products we can see all the products right so mouse keyboard and warranty these three products we can see, but we can't see laptop because we haven't associated it. Right? So I'll go to laptop and I'll associate it with all products. So I'll just select this and it's done. I'll have to refresh it and let's see. So previously uh, on Salesforce platform, we have to run a bunch of maintenance right, to get this UI. Now we don't have to do anything. So I'll go to all products and again I'll not seeing it. Now what can be the reason? Let's see. I haven't activated it and I haven't published it. So I'll just publish it, publish it and I'll just refresh this so that we can see on the UI right that it is activated. Okay. And I haven't associated the image so I'm associating the image as well. Now if I come over here and refresh, I should see laptop being added to this category and I should be able to view the laptop as well. Let's wait to get the catalog loaded. I'll go to all product and I can see the products being added. Now you can see laptop as well. So if you want to select multiple products, uh, you can check this checkbox and add together. I'm not selecting as of now laptop as of now. I'm just adding these three products. Immediately it will be marked as selected and if you want to see the pricing or the products being added into which are being added to card, you can see it in this mini card. So this mini card will show you the product name, the price, net price of that product. If you want to delete something, you can delete it from here. It will show the pagination as well and it will show the grand total. So now these products are being sold on its own. Now what I have to do is I have to add the product with laptop bundle. So as I shown you over here, as option is true. So we see add product, add to cart, 
on top of that we see configure bundle as well because by this checkbox the system knows it has option right but i told you is configurable right so let me check this checkbox and let's see what's the difference it is making so consider it is right now showing add to card and configure i'll just refresh it and let's see what else or what is the change that we are getting okay so let's wait for a while since we have already added products to cart it takes us to cart page now if you want to move back to uh, catalog page we'll click this add more product button we'll go to all products and previously it was add to cart and configure button now we can't see add to cart button because it's now must configure i'll click configure button and as soon as i configure it it will load the cart page uh, the bundle configuration page where you can see price of the bundle is $1500 as we have provided into uh, price list item and I'll add this products and I'll just validate the price you see each price is being added so 15 plus 10 25 plus 15 40 and 20 60 so now the price became 1560 USD Right. and over here as well you can see uh, the different products being option products being added and its price as well now when i go to view card i can see those products as a line okay so if i expand this laptop bundle right uh, i can see the options being added and the price of that option is 60 dollar altogether the price of bundle is 1500 so the totally the bundle price is 1560 now if you want to still reconfigure the bundle you can click this wrench icon which will navigate you to the bundle configuration page and let's say you don't want to purchase light pen so you uncheck the checkbox and you see the price has been getting calculated and now it became 1540 which is less 20. I can again go to the card page and I can see how the products are configured what products are configured what's the price for that okay. So this is how we can configure different product structure in Conga. So thank you very much for watching the video. Please like and share the content and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thank you.